Hey everybody and welcome to my new walkthrough. This is for Dead Rising. Now I have not actually played this game since the Xbox 360 came out because uh, I had this as a launch title for the Xbox 360 and that's the first time I played it and it terrified me. Absolutely terrified me at the time. Probably because there wasn't really like a open world-ish zombie game up to that point. And yeah, well, well it's the X was the Xbox graphics were pretty good, <laughs> to say the least. And this also was the game that taught me that uh, console console exclusivity means jack shit in this world. Uh, give it like what three years, and it was out on. I can't actually remember now if this was out on PS3. Obviously, it's out on PS4. That's what I'm playing it on. But no idea if it was out on PS3. Dead Rising 2 was. And I'm just rambling now. Let's get started, shall we? Uh, the 72 hour mode, yep. Now, I remember there was like a time management element to this game that I was just terrible at. Let's see if age has improved that trait in me. Time management. Say buddy, you mentioned something about research for a story. That's right. Got a tip that something big's happening. In a nowhere little town like that? They sure didn't mention anything about it on TV. Yeah, well, I'm freelance, pal. I don't make my living waiting for the TV to tell me what to cover. <laughs> Shopping mall. What was that? The army? Yeah. Looks like taking a helicopter was the way to go. I bet they got all the roads blocked off by now. All right, listen. I want to get shots of the whole town before the National Guard finishes roping it off. Take me over the main street. Alright, let's go sightseeing. Sightseeing in Willamette, Colorado. Ah, I remember this. Ah, look at those graphics. Look at those cars. Those sharp edges. Those ambling people. How do I zoom in? Oh, okay. The awkward Capcom control uh, layout. Ah, it's all coming back to me now. Wait for it. Is this what you came to take pictures of? Sure is. No, oh, well, okay. Um, I'm not sure how this camera thing works. Drama. Violence. No way. And check that out. Look at all those people. What the hell is happening here? 
Just keep taking pictures, really. The more XP, the better. I have no idea. But one thing's for sure. Whatever's going on down there, it's not business as usual in this town. Frank West, master of the observational skill. Yeah, something was weird in this town. Everyone's covered in blood and there are cars stacked on top of each other. No one seems to be running anywhere either. Hey. Oh, she's gonna fall. I like how it feels like they were more concerned about getting the camera controls <laughs> just right. Like getting you to know them before anything else in the game. Okay, and here we are in Willamette, Colorado. Hello there. Huh? You're the reporter, aren't you? Yeah. Oh. You came alone. 
Yeah, I'm freelance. You know, go on the battlefield alone, no crew. So, uh, what's going on around here anyway? You came by helicopter, didn't you? What did you see from the sky? Well... If it were just a riot, I doubt the military would quarantine the entire area. The moratorium on information getting out is a little... extreme, in my opinion. There's, uh, something else I can't put my finger on. Doesn't sound like civil disobedience. It's too quiet. <laughs> Almost as if... everyone's already dead. Yeah. So why don't you just tell me already? What's going on? I think you'd better see for yourself. This, my friend... ...is hell. Yeah, it's coming back to me now, that heavy-handed Capcom approach to storytelling. It's as if everyone is already dead. And then you got that guy, the guy is just like, You came by helicopter, didn't you? It's like, you just watched me jump out of the helicopter. Like, you were there, looking at me do it. Why are you asking that question? There's got to be a better way of phrasing that. You came by helicopter, didn't you? And then, yeah, I'm remembering that, like, that walk now. That walk that always made me wonder if Frank had like, some kind of limp. It could just be because he's clutching that camera all the time. Who knows? Let's get a move on, shall we? We've only got three days! Three whole days. Or like, maybe eight hours game time. I'm not sure. Security room sofa or public restroom to save game. Cool. Yeah, if you notice my uh, audio is different, it's because I have changed over to my other headset because uh, the headset I've been using for a lot of my walkthroughs up to this point has been the one that is USB connected and that comes with a lot of background noise that I wasn't really able to get rid of and so I use a lot of like the weird like <laughs> squeaky noise in some of my videos this however is an audio jack plugged directly into my PS4 controller so it's um, no background uh, yeah no background noise and I can tell that, because when I look in the microphone level, there's just blank when I'm not speaking. Whereas in the other one, it was like... There was a, like a, a clear noise. You could see it in the audio like level bar thing. So yeah. Well, that's that. I <laughs> just wanted to say that. Let's look at TV. Reality TV. They have developed a taste for man flesh. Like the Urukai from Lord of the Rings. What kind of surprises me is that they haven't really like rolled this into the Resident Evil continuity. <laughs> you just have in the next Resident Evil game you just have Frank West or Chuck Norris or whatever the hell that guy in Dead Rising 2 is called running around next to Chris Redfield. Hey, 
That is one weird old woman. Hey, this is no time to ogle pretty girls, son. You looking to get yourself eaten alive by zombies? What? Did you just say zombies? Take a look out there. If those ain't zombies, what would you call them? There's been more and more of them since last night. Now, they're all that's out there. Hey, look on the bright side. Zombies are stupid and slow. We should be safe in here. All right, then. Feel like making yourself useful? Take a look around the mall. Bring anything we can use for the barricade back here. On the way. Come on, pronto. Ah, look at those last gen graphics. Yeah, I mean, he does make a good point. But, yeah, that these are zombies, if anyone was questioning it. Like, Frank, you could see he had a bit of disbelief. But I know, like, one of their skulls... Uh, is, he's missing a part of his skull. One of the zombies are. I'm like, obviously that man's dead. You know? Now, the next bit is the, the bit that really gets me. Like, really gets me. Uh, here we go. You! Stop right there! Do you have any idea what you've done? Why did you summon me to this place? What are you planning? Would you calm down? I don't even know what you're talking about! <laughs> What the? Here we go. This next bit. This next bit Madonna! confuses me. First of all, that dog looked absolutely satanic. Yeah, that's that's pretty bad. But anyway, what was I saying? That's right. First of all, that dog looked absolutely satanic. And secondly, that old woman was able to overpower Two of those guys, and they're like, what, just around half of her age? And they weren't able to overpower her? Okay, that's not good. Oh god. No, no, don't mean to do that. I 
I could just run past them, can't I? I wasn't able to save anyone, but I saved that bench. It does puzzle me somewhat that you weren't able to save anyone in that scene. They all just stand there and get eaten. things are in the mall. We better not use this door. Uh, what are, what are you, doing? you doing? The air ducts. They'll get us back into the mall. And apparently those things aren't smart enough to use the ducts. So they won't be a factor. Wait a minute. You want to get back in there? What for? Nice camera. Are you a photographer? As a matter of fact, I am. Frank West, photojournalist. Could you show me some pictures, Frank? You really seem to know what you're doing. Who are you guys, anyway? And what are you... I took that one near the entrance. That guy do something? No. Thanks for showing me, though. Uh, hey, we're not done talking yet. Just who are you guys? I'm Jesse. The man you saw earlier is Brad. That's all I'm authorized to tell you. That was kind of bad acting though, wasn't it? He was just like, yeah, he didn't do anything. That's not the guy we're looking for. Food. No, ah. Uh. There we go. Okay, I best make my way back out. Also, um, all right, I'll wait for this cutscene to finish. Right, yeah. Also, um, when I first played this, I, HDMI was just becoming a thing. So I, hey, my, the, 
so hello so yeah the tv at the time i had didn't have hdmi so i couldn't read any of the text in the game it was ridiculous That would be great, fella. Cool. Come on. Follow me. Mister. I don't know why I did that, but <laughs> I'll probably do it again. Why would you do that though? Pick up a football in a zombie game. Like in a zombie apocalypse, just like, ah, I know what a, I know what a good weapon is. Yeah, you can't just run off and leave them either. Because otherwise, yeah, they have to be in like a certain proximity to you. In order to go through this little... Well, the duct. So, come on. Bring your golf stick. Uh, golf club, that's the one. Golf stick. Somersault kick. Okay, I'm never going home again for as long as I live. And I've had about enough of this place. Cool. So that's one couple that's never going back to a mall ever again in their life. Level up. Yeah. What have I... Yeah, but what skill have I unlocked? Awarded such as escorting survivors to safety or defeating zombies. When the PP gauge becomes full, Frank levels up. Attack speed, life stock. Increase item stock increases throw. Distance increases. New skill is learned. All right, but what's the what's the new skill? <sighs> yeah, status. Uh, attack is worth shit. No speed whatsoever. Uh, life is under half. Item stock is under half, and throw distance is under half. But. What skills? I've learnt the jump kick. Ah, cool. Yeah. It's weird that he couldn't do this before he came to Willamette, Colorado, but that's just one of the things he can carry around with life. I, go, uh, I don't know what I'm saying. That's one of the skills he could sort of carry on with his life. Carry on with him through life. Uh, that's one. Ah, what the hell. Uh, do I go for the sledgehammer? Yeah. Why not? Oh. Ah, it's cool. Still got, uh, full life, so that's fine. Alright, let's go. Let's go kill some zom-zoms. Just a sprain. I've got to help Brad, or he's done for. All right, fine. Give me your gun. Come on, I'm the reason you just got hurt. Let me help. No, I can't let a civilian do that. That's against regulations. 
Yeah, yeah. well, I don't I think they had zombie-infested zombie malls in mind when they wrote those regulations, kid. You know how to use this? Kinda. I've covered wars, you know. Look, after I'm through helping you, you and I are gonna have a nice little chat. Yeah. Okay, well, case one, two. So, yeah, okay, I have like time goals and whatnot. Cool. It's all coming back to me now, slowly. Uh, case panel from a guy solving a mystery behind the incident. When the when you encounter a key event, a new case panel opens up, taking you a step closer to the truth. Yeah, you can take a look at the current status of the case panels via case file. When the case panels have been filled in, the truth behind the incident will be revealed. Okay. What the? No! I want that sledgehammer. Yeah, and I d that was just one of the things I don't actually get with this game. It's always confused me in that you have uh, a nasty. You have like a gun, but you can only use the clip, the, the ammo clip that's in the gun. You can't like reload the gun. So whenever you when, when you've used like what the thirty rounds in the gun, you just drop it. That really confuses me. <laughs> like, why would you do that? Why would you drop the gun? I thought there was meant to be like a Mega Man outfit here. How do I get rid of this? Yeah, how do I get yeah. rid? Yeah, okay, come on. What? No, I want to return. I want to return the head thing. Oh, uh, am I stuck with this now for the rest of the game? Oh my god, I actually am stuck with this, aren't I? Ah, <laughs> oh. fine. I can't seem to get rid of it. I really want to get rid of this hat thing. This mask. I'm only on episode one of this walkthrough, and it's already the game's already found a way to piss me off. Is that a clothing shop over there? Ah, what's this? No, ah, go away. Well, I got some style. How do I get... Uh, is there any place here that sells a hat, I wonder? <laughs> like a fedora.
At least then I can sort of kind of look the part of a photojournalist, I guess. Yes, I think I need a handbag. Alright, are there any other clothing shops here? Okay, maybe not the uh, the shop. Yeah. All right, same thing. <laughs> yeah. All right, no more sport shops. Kid shops either. The old toy box. Oh god, I'm gonna die. You mind I'm trying to shop you, bitch? Yeah. Fine, I'll take that. That's what I wanted. Then I get rid of that horse's head thing. That's not a good way to start the game, is it? Probably the best looking thing I'm gonna get. Ah, toy shop, nice. Let me check the map. There's our fresca, brand new you. Okay, this doesn't actually go anywhere, does it? I'll have to go the opposite way. And uh, yes, go past this place, which is the entrance plaza. That's overrun, and then go to Alfresco Plaza. No! Oh, for God's sake. Get away! Ah, yes, the edge of the quick time event. Yeah, I'm gonna go this way. If I can. No, I don't think I can, can I? Actually. I don't know. I'll, I'll, screw it. I'll go outside. Oh my god, if I survive. I'll go outside.
I didn't want to do this because I do remember that out there is this creepy ass um, boss battle. Like, not creepy, but you know, it's a really hard one. They get there in a jeep and they just chase you around with a machine gun on the back of it. Okay, I have to go back there, so I can, yeah, go back there. At a later date. Actually, is there a way? No, there's no way into there, is there? Not from the outside. Oh well. It is kind of annoying that this is the fastest I can run. I don't know why I ditched that. Oh no! I don't know why I ditched the gun. Uh, I don't know why I ditched the... I don't know why I ditched anything. I don't know why I went for that lawnmower. Could have just shot a few of them. You know how to use that gun? I've never fired at a person. All right, I'll cover you from here. You need to stick to the shadows. Try to get close to the target, okay? And what am I supposed to do when I get close? Well, the best solution would be to shoot the guy. But if you can't do that, keep him busy dodging your bullets and stay out of trouble. Are you up to it? I'm a lot better with a camera. But yeah, I'll give it a shot. All right. Next time he reloads, I'll lay down a suppressing fire. I'm counting on you. Make your way over there. One, two, three! Ooh, so dramatic. Can't aim. Can't aim with shit.
gunfights are kind of awkward, aren't they? <laughs> As is aiming, because I swear I'm hitting him. But I'm also not hitting him. Don't even know how many of those shots actually landed. Oh my god. Oh my god, he's gonna beat me. Okay, I need, I need food. Or, or, or wine. I need something. Oh, I'm sh Oh my god. <laughs> oh, wow. Alright. Yeah, Lord. No save games found. So do I just save and quit? Okay. Well, that's that. I'm going to call this episode to an end. This is the first my first episode playing the game. I really hope that it's saved. It might not have. Uh, start game. Load. Okay, let's see if it, where, where I load from. Uh... Um... <laughs> oh, I have to... Don't tell me I have to play the whole thing over again, do I? I don't get it. How do I load? Okay, so... Well, I'm gonna call it quits here and figure out what's happening right now. 
and hopefully in the next episode I'll be carrying on from close to where I left off even if I have to start the game from the beginning again which I'm kind of hoping I don't have to but you never know thank you all for watching if you've gotten this far it means a great deal thank you if you could leave a like for the video and comment anything you like down below uh, shout out of support or if you like, like whether you like the game or you like the franchise in general uh, throw it in the comments I'd love to hear from you and if you could hit that subscribe button uh, it should be appearing in the end screen there should be like my logo my channel logo just hit that and you can keep up to date with the rest of this walkthrough and you can also check uh, all the walkthroughs I've done so far for now though this is pretty much it, so until next time, you take care.